So we always finish. Because of the girls, we always finish the line. We reach the line, then we collapse. And for the next three days, we can't come out. <laughs> but the people cheering you this morning are not your classmates. Those who are calling out to you not to give up in the race because your due season, your season of refreshing is at hand, they are not your classmates. Abraham is on that grandstand this morning. Isaac is on that stand this morning. Jacob is there this morning. Paul is there. Silas is there. Elijah is there. Elisha is there. All these saints of old, they are there and they are calling your name. And child of God, I'm here to say to you, I've been sent by the Lord to say to somebody today that weeping may endure for the night, but joy is coming in the morning. God has sent me to say to a child of God today, I have stored your tears in a bot bottle. You will not leave the way you came. God has told me, to tell somebody that the money is on the way. I speak by the spirit of prophecy. I said the money is on the way. I said the money is on the way. I said the money is on the way. Your wedding gown is ready. Your wedding gown is ready. The God of heaven is about to rain upon you. He's about to do the exceedingly, the abundantly. Above all you can ask or think, I'm here to say to a child of God this morning, there's a new season upon you? Is there a witness in this house? Is there somebody who believes that God can do the unexpected? He can go beyond your wildest imagination. I know what I'm talking about because he's doing it in my life and he will do it in your life. He will turn it around. He will come in, in a way when you least expect it, when you think it's over, when your friends are laughing, God will say, you have loved enough. You have loved enough. The season of refreshing is upon on this household you believe that wave your hand and give a lot a shout this morning give him a shout give him a shout give him a shout give him a shout in the house of God sit down he said I would do the unexpected do you think Ruth was expecting Boaz he didn't even she didn't even know anybody there she just happened I pray God can put expectation in your soul today People that expect nothing will receive nothing. Peter said, look on us. Silver and gold have I not. Look on us. That means expect to receive something. I believe I'm serving a God that Monday morning my story can be different. Amen. Let me preach on that side. Let me preach on that side. Let me preach on that side. I said, I believe I'm serving a God that Monday morning my story can be different. I said, I believe I'm serving a God that Monday morning my story can be different. I said, I believe I'm serving a God that Monday morning my story can be different. I said, I believe I'm serving a God that Monday morning my story can be different. I'm trying to get you to apply faith to what I'm teaching here. Don't sit down like a log of wood. Get on your feet and begin to thank the Lord that Monday morning can be different for you in the name of Jesus because I want you to know something. God's Bible says on the day of Pentecost, like the man of God read today, he says suddenly, five minutes ago, they were not expecting that sound. Five minutes ago, they were not expecting that sound. It was another festival, but suddenly, I believe in the God of suddenly. He's visiting my family. He's visiting my body. He's visiting my children. He's visiting my finances. He can turn it around. You believe that? Give him seven hallelujah. some faith and receive it. Release some faith and say he's talking about me. He can be different Monday morning. I receive the favor of God. Remember how I started my message? I talk about continuous assessment. 
If God has been assessing you continuously, that means be marking good, 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 good. The day they give you your, your report card, you are not, it is a surprise, but it's not a surprise because it's been marked. Joseph went to bed a prisoner. The following night, he was a prime minister. Is that in your Bible? You may not have any money in your account, but I believe that there are angels that move on people to, to, to move on people, to move on people, to say you need to bless that girl, you need to bless that boy, you need to bless that man. I don't know how they work, but I believe there are angels when you cry to God God is going to move in your behalf supernaturally I call for financial favor across board in the name of Jesus <laughs> lift your hand for a minute and thank him thank him for favor thank him for favor thank him that he's the God of suddenly praise God you may be seated at church glory to God somebody will ask me how does God meet my need? God can use man to meet your need. He used Pharaoh for Joseph. Hallelujah. In the wilderness, there was no man. He rained down manna. I just want you to know how big this God is. Is it possible? Child of God, I just want you to know how big this, this God is. Is it possible? I said, is it possible? Is it possible? There was nobody in the wilderness. I, I, I'm, <laughs> what's the point I'm making man cannot stop your season of refreshing if everybody in your office says your file is not moving MD will never see this file to God <laughs> if everybody in your office said your file will not get to Lagos I want to tell you God can send an angel to that office Pastor Tina shared one day she left the house with children. Me, I have gone my own to preach. And an angel was in the house. Sometimes people come to my house. They say, I was praying with one pastor. I said, I felt a mighty hand. Did you touch me? I said, one of those angels probably was touching you. I said, I didn't touch you. He said, you touched me. The hand was heavy. I said, I said do I look like a giant? What I'm telling you is that. You see, some of you, this is not refreshing. It will happen for pastors. For people that can preach where, where. It is you I came to talk to. That God said times will come. You've cried enough. You have cried enough. God wants to give you gold medal. I said God wants to give you gold medal. I said God wants to give you gold medal. God used Pharaoh. When Pharaoh chased them out, God said, you chase them out, I will use myself. Pastor Fred. Food fell down from heaven. Have you ever seen that type of thing before? Pastor, food fell down. Like rain, far. Is that in your Bible? Then there's no man that can stop my blessing. Amen. If you say my fire will not get to Abuja, one angel will just come, carry fire. When the man gets to the office, he'll say, ah, who brought this fire? We say we don't know. They say that guy in the use juju. There's no my juju is my prayer. My juju is my continuous assessment. My juju is going to prayer meeting. My juju is fasting. My juju is the angels of God. Sometimes I've been praying, and the answer I will, I've been praying. You know you are praying, praying. Your phone keeps doing ping, 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 ping. You don't want to answer your phone. Somebody say check the phone, and when you check the phone, it's one nice. It's a nice alert. You know, there are alerts and there are alerts. The one with several zeros. You say, God, you didn't even allow me to finish this prayer. You have already alerted me. The Lord shall alert you in the name of Jesus. Let's not behave like the disciples. Because when we are praying, you say, one day, one day, me, uh, I serve a God that can do it now. The disciples were praying for Peter to be released. Before they could finish the prayer, Peter was at the door. Peter was saying, pam, pam, pam. They say, ah, it, maybe it's not Peter, maybe it's his angel. Some of you have been talking about this compensation. I just do it. Uh, it can happen for some people. My promotion is not yet due. Who cares? God can promote you before it is due. Yeah. If they are owing you money, I'm talking to you now. I want you to stretch your faith with me today because I need you to be blessed. I said, I need you to be blessed. 
I say, I need you to be blessed. I need you to be blessed. Stretch your faith with me that everybody owing you, our angel will go after that person in the name of Jesus. The money is going to be wherever you are owing God's people, let the angel of the Lord cause a release. Let the angel of the Lord cause a release. Let the angel of the Lord visit you in the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody shout and give him praise. Hallelujah. Please sit down. I need to wrap up. <laughs> if they even say the hand of God, they don't want. When they enter the promised land, God said, farm, I will bless your farm. When they spy the land, so God can bless the work of your hand and meet your need. You know what he did? Your enemies can meet your need. When they spied the land, they said, the spies that had a good report, they said, they are bread for us. Through them, our needs will be met. Let every enemy against your soul become bread. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I want you to believe this, that he can do the unexpected. I, wrote, I read, is it Job 5? Is it 11 or 12? He said he specializes, he's famous for doing the unexpected. Yes. All right. Let me try and round up now. Glory to God. I said glory to God. But Ruth made up her mind. If he slays me, I will serve him. She was seeing him that was invincible. All right. Isaiah 50 verse 4. Isaiah 50 verse 4, Revelation 1. 6, Revelation 5, 10, and then one more and then we're done. Revelation 1, 6, Revelation 5, 10. Because when we talk like this, people say, well, 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 I don't know. I'm talking about you, that your tears have been stored in a bottle. Your continuous assessment you have passed. Because even where you think you failed, the blood of Jesus cleansed you. So God is going to do the unexpected. Joseph wasn't expecting that when he woke up that morning. Okay. The Lord has given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season. To him that is weary, he wakeneth morning by morning, he wakeneth mine ear to hear as the learned. You know, one of the things that Joseph was giving was leaning. And we read in the Bible that Samuel prophesied with a leaning effort. We, we read that David danced before the Lord when he took the ark from the house of Obededom, when a leaning effort, leaning reminds us of priesthood. God awaits your priestly ministry daily in the season of refreshing. God awaits your priestly ministry daily in the season of refreshing. Revelation 1, 6 says he has made us kings and priests. Revelation 5, 10 says he has made us kings and priests. Hallelujah. What do priests do? They minister to God and from God. Child of God, I know God can hear your prayer anytime. I know God can hear your prayer anytime. Hmm? I know God can hear your prayer anytime. And everywhere. But it takes discipline to establish a routine with God. Amen. Establish a Bible says, Great while before morning, Jesus went and prayed. I know some of you say, Well, Pastor, I have three children. How will I be waking up? I sleep late, Abby. I wake, when do I wake? But look, find what time is good for you. Sisters, find what time is good for you. Even if there are three children, find what time. If it's just 10 minutes, 15 minutes, increases. Where nothing comes into your space is you and this God. It's a very great investment. I say it's a very, very great investment. When you can hear the voice of God, you are more powerful than the most powerful man.